How many days since I picked up the camera? I didn't even give y'all a vlog on Sunday. I felt so bad because I've been so consistent with vlogging and putting up a video every Sunday. So when I didn't have one on Sunday, I was just like, mm -hmm. but you guys, I'm back. I'm better. I woke up in a great mood. It is Monday, May 20th. That is crazy because I feel like I literally just came on camera and was like, oh my God, it's May 3rd and I just finish my challenge for April and da -da 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 -da. now it's May 20th and we about to be in August 
What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, you guys, I don't know what happened last week. The week just got a hold of me. Like, I just, no matter what I did, I could not pick up the camera. Like, sometimes it's okay to do that, I feel. Like, sometimes you kind of just have to, like, tune everything out and just focus on what's going on in front of you. Because, I don't know, last week, it was just, like, a bunch of unnecessary stuff happening. Not in a bad way, but it was just, like, every time I felt like I had a moment to like draft content or like sit down and like you know something happened or got in a way and then yeah by the time i realized it was mother's day now not my, was it mother's day no by the time i realized it it was the end of the week and i was like yeah no i don't know why i'm in such a good mood y'all i think it's this coffee i tried this new creamer um flavor i love almond joys like i have an obsession with coconuts and almonds so the fat and chocolate so the fact that they put coconut almonds and chocolate together is like so for me like they did that just for me so when i saw they had an almond joy creamer i was like yeah gotta get this so we were at the supermarket and i got it yesterday or the day before yesterday and it is so good and it's doing what it needs to do hence the energy like the coffee that i made this morning i didn't even finish it yet and i'm already like on a thousand <laughs> but yeah you guys so i hope you guys are good like i hope you guys are you know entering this week with some positive vibes only because you know that's what we need to survive is positive energy um i don't really know what is gonna come up this week y'all know how i do whatever happens happens y'all just gonna come with me we just gonna do it together um i do want to show you guys what i got for mother's day though because i want to recap that um being that it's been so long i'm just gonna recap everything so mother's day i didn't do anything my husband kept asking me what do you want to do what do you want to do what do you want to do and i'm just like i don't really care to do anything like i'm one of those people that like when it's like holidays and stuff like that like if it's not something like really relaxed and chill, like I don't want to do it because it's like every restaurant is going to be booked up. Every restaurant or outing is going to be crowded. I don't want to deal with that. Like he knows I'm obsessed with like his Alfredo pasta. He makes a bomb. Like when I tell y'all, bomb. He puts shrimp, chicken, and then lately, because y'all know salmon is my thing, he'll put salmon on the side for me. So he made me like a big seafood pasta with some wine on the side so so good so good um he was kind of annoyed because he ordered me flowers and i guess because it was mother's day the flowers never came and um they said that the flowers were delivered but they never got here and so he was upset and they were going to try to re-deliver it for the next day but um he was just like no i wanted it on mother's day and i was like it's okay He's always getting me flowers, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, so let me show you guys what he got me. Jalen got me like the sweetest gift. I have it next to me. So she got me this little, um, I want to say like it's an acrylic heart. And it reads, to my mom, I'm forever grateful for all that you are and who you have taught me to be. You are beautiful and soft around the edges, but you have the strength of the steel period um <laughs> i hope to someday become at least half of the person you are thank you for the unconditional love and support i love you mom more than you'll ever know love your daughter he got me this cute little beer i love it thumbnail super duper sweet of her um jules is his his gift for me is actually on the fridge. He drew me um, a picture and colored it and it said like, I love my mom, but yeah. So my husband got me three things so far. Well, yeah, three, four things, but one isn't here yet. So I'll just get the one that wasn't here, isn't here yet out the way. So Y'all know when something go on TikTok, it just, just goes like crazy. So the slides that he wanted to get me are the infamous Gucci slides. Um, he tried his hardest to get them for me because he knew that I wanted them. But of course, the color that I want is just back ordered. Um, so <laughs> he tried to get them from Gucci. Gucci first said that they're sold out. Then they said that they were back ordered until June. And then we literally checked last night and my size is back ordered on till July now. And I'm not the type of person that is going to just say, I'm, I'm just going to switch the color because, 
you know, I just want the slide. If I gotta wait for them, I'll wait for them. Um, knowing him more than likely, he's gonna probably try to go to like Jersey or something to get them for me because for some reason it's easier to shop for designer items in Jersey than it is in New York. Like any designer shoe, my Louis slides, my Dior slides, Jersey. His Dior sneakers, like anything designer, we've always gone to Short Hills Mall in New Jersey, if you know, you know. And yeah, they always have all the designer stuff in stock. But yeah, so that's my first gift. My babies that aren't here yet, that probably won't get here till August, which is fine. But the second thing that he did for me, you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, y'all probably already seen my reel. Um, but he did say that you know, because I told him I just wanted to look and feel pretty on Mother's Day, that he was going to take me to the mall to get stuff to continue to look and feel pretty. He took me to the mall, y'all, and he took me on a little mini Sephora, um, Ulta, Target, shopping spree. I've already started using some of this stuff. I'm not even going to hold y'all. This was a Target pickup. If you guys know, you know, this is my jam, the Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost so good so so good i'm an oily girl so anything that's like very lightweight on my face as a moisturizer is literally what is literally what i run to first journey is like unboxing it for me the next thing that i picked up was this elf power grip primer and the reason i got this is because like i said the girls on tiktok were like ranting and raving about this stuff so i wanted to get it just to see what it's about and i picked up the aqua the aqua bomb you guys don't know about aqua bomb i need y'all to get on it aqua bomb is literally like one of the best moisturizers got this in the mini only because i knew i wanted to go to target to get this and i'm not gonna hold you this little thing is like 28 dollars. this big thing is like 25 26 the bigger one up to this is like 40 dollars. so and they do the exact same thing for my face but like i said I knew I was going to go get this. I just wasn't sure if Target was going to have it. So I got this mini one just in case. And yeah. I use the Hydro Boost like throughout the day. That's what I used this morning. And I use the Aqua Bomb like at nighttime. Because it's not thicker. But I feel like it's just more like a little goes a long way. Then y'all know I'm obsessed with Good Molecules. So I had to re-up on their Niacinamide Brightening Toner. This toner has been doing wonders for my skin, especially because I suffer with hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So I got this. I also picked up their Daily Brightening Serum. Um, this is actually my first time trying this, so I can't really say what it is, what, like how it is yet. But um, yeah, I picked this up too just because... I feel like at my age now, I'm really more into skincare than um, like makeup. And I love that for me. Like, I love that for me. And then I picked up the Summer Fridays um, lip balm, the lip butter balm. Um, and I got this in the color, I don't know if it's poi. Oh, pink sugar. <laughs> it's pink sugar. And I got this just because I feel like it's just like a subtle, like, sheer gloss like this is my first time trying summer fridays too but everybody rants and raves about them so for the most part it seems pretty good like i like a chapstick or a lip balm that i don't feel like i have to keep reapplying and this one so far has been doing good i want to try the Laneige one or Laneige. i've never known how to pronounce that but i think it's Laneige. i want to try their um lip gloss or a lip balm, but the color that I wanted when I went, they didn't have. Got a e.l.f. beauty blender. Um, yeah, just cause. And then I wanted to try this because I see this being used everywhere. This is the Verse Cleansing Balm. And I've seen people use cleansing balms to take their makeup off. And I just never really could get into it. Just because I feel like you're just putting mad product on your face to wash it off. Um, but this I hear is really, really good. And I hear it's also good on your skin. So I got the mini because I wanted to just test it out. This is what it looks like. This honestly is probably going to just go in like maybe two, three uses if I'm using it for my whole face. But yeah, I just wanted to try it and it smells good. It smells like a spa. So I don't know if that's descriptive enough, but yeah, like when you think about a spa, that's what it smells like. 
And then this has been used so many times. I got the Laminage um, lip mask, so the sleeping lip mask. So, yep, I got it in berry fruits. And then it comes with the applicator, which I love. A little of this goes a long way. I've been using it since Mother's Day, and literally, I still have so much left. And it smells so good. And my lips literally be feeling butter soft. Like after you do a nice lip scrub and you know, exfoliate your lips and you put this on. Yeah. Next thing I got were the topicals eye mask. Comes with six pairs. I've used a pair before and they do feel good. And I do notice like the puffiness in my eyes go away. I am in love with these. Um, and then I love me some NARS, you guys. I had to re-up on the Dolph Matte Foundation and their concealer. I tried a different shade in the foundation and I'm praying journey. You okay over there? <laughs> I'm praying that, um, was it Sephora or Ulta? I think Ulta. I'm praying that their lighting wasn't, no, it was Sephora. I'm praying that the lighting wasn't off in there because when I look at it here, like it looks really like, not my my skin tone but then when I put it on my hand like you guys see so I'm hoping I haven't used it yet <laughs> excuse me so I'm hoping that like when I do use it like like you see it like blends really good I think it'll be fine like it really just goes and it 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 went really good on my face as well I'm not gonna lie but the packaging is throwing me off what shade is this Caracas, Caracas, Maracas. I don't know, but this is the shade, you guys. Screenshot if you need. And then I got the concealer in caramel. This is my first time getting this shade of a concealer as well, but I like a bright under eye, so I wanted to try this. Shit for you guys. So yeah, this is exactly how I like my under eye. Perfect. So yeah, I can't wait to do a face of makeup with these products. So one thing I can't say is that when my husband told me to go in there, I definitely did not go crazy. I got a bunch of stuff that I wanted to try, but I also got stuff that I needed to re-up on. But when I left, I was like, damn, there was so many other things that I wanted to try that I forgot. Like I really wanted to try the Huda, Huda Beauty um, setting powder forgot to grab that I also wanted to try the one size setting spray because I hear so many good things and bad things about it like I hear sometimes it leaves like white marks on your um your makeup from like spraying so I forgot to get that too and then I also wanted to try the Laura Mercier no is it Laura Mercier yeah um translucent powder i've tried that maybe like one time in my life and then when i got to the fancy section i was like damn i should have tried her new foundation but i had already got the nars so i ended up just getting the lip gloss i love this lip gloss love 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 this is, this is the what is it called the gloss balm lip luminizer um in fussy i made a mistake and thought that this was the like lip Thumper. I don't know if lip luminizer and plumper is the same thing, but I did see that she had a clear one that literally said lip plumping. So I don't know what luminizing and plumping is in terms of difference. But yeah, I've had this before and I loved it. So maybe one day I'll get the lip plumper because I've been wanting my lips to look a little. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. So I think in total we spent... This was $168 at Sephora and $97 at Ulta. So y'all do the math. Um, and then he also took me, I wanted to get my second ears repairs. My second ears. Like I have more than two. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get my second hole repairs. So I got those done on both sides. Like y'all saw it in a little mini reel. But yeah, so... He did his thing or whatever with that. I was so happy. Like, I just kept giving him hugs. Because one thing about me, I notice when I look good, I feel my best. If I look crazy, I feel crazy. I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to be around nobody. I don't want to, you know? And so when I expressed that I just wanted to feel good and I just wanted to look good, it just made me feel, like, so appreciative of the fact that he picked up on what I meant and said, okay, let's go get stuff so that you can continue. 
And then the cutest thing was like when I realized that I forgot to get stuff. He's like, I told you, just get anything. And I'm just being modest. Next time that man tell me get anything, I'm getting anything. And I hope he's watching. I'm getting anything, okay? He got me some headphones. I've been complaining, you guys, about getting new AirPods for the longest. Uh, but at the same time, like, my ears are so tiny. I don't know if you guys noticed, like, my ears are really small. So no matter, I had the AirPods, the most recent ones, and they come with, like, little sizing tips to, like, put in your ear. I put mine on the smallest, and they still slide out my ear. I ended up telling him, like, I wanted um, some headphones, but I didn't like how big the Apple ones, like, were on my ear. So he got me this and it's like so, so, so like up my alley. These are the Beats headphones. First of all, can we get into the carrying case? Like, how cute is this for traveling? Like it literally could just tuck inside of your carry-on, inside of your personal, like so cute. Then when you open it, Y'all already know. If y'all been on this channel for a while, then y'all know why I'm obsessed with this. Like, excuse me? How cute are these, you guys? These are so cute. And they are super noise canceling. Like, I absolutely am obsessed with these. I haven't used them yet. Um, but I'll definitely be using them when I edit because the noise cancellation is necessary. Inside of the bag, there's like, I don't know if you guys could see, like a little zipper area so that if I wanted to like put stuff in it, I'll put that in here. And then on the other side, they gave me both adapters. So one is for me to obviously plug it in to charge. And then the other one is for like, let's say I wanted to like use it wired instead of wireless i could use it as well and then they have like the little two pockets that they came in to separate them i thought that was super cute and super thoughtful because i've been complaining about not having headphones for a while he knew that i struggled with my audio so he got me the headphones and then he also got me the microphones i haven't even opened it yet because i'm not sure if i want to do like an unboxing video or if i just want to bust it open but you guys if your man don't invest in you, get a new one. <laughs> nah, let me stop. But I'm so grateful for him because one thing about him is he invests in me. Everything that I film on, everything that I edit with, everything that, you know, the content ideas that I have, he helps me with. So when he got me this, I was just like, oh my God. So it comes with two mics, as you guys could see here. There's a mic on each side. So like, I'm dying to get him to sit down and do content with me. If you guys want to see couple content, please comment down below. I need y'all to comment down below because if he sees that y'all are commenting, he will get on a camera with me. So please comment down below that y'all want to see couple content so I could get him in these vlogs or in these videos for y'all. Um, but yeah, so it comes with two microphones and then this big thing right here is the charging, um, the charging case. So excited to open this. I literally can't wait. Um, I think open it this week, honestly, and I think I'm going to probably insert a clip of me using it with using my camera without the mic and a clip of me using it with the mic so that you guys can see why I'm so excited for this. But yeah, yeah, he did such a great job. He did such, such a great job with this entire Mother's Day. And the one thing that he was so upset about was the flowers, but he doesn't even know, like, just the thought alone of everything like everything was so well thought out so grateful so appreciative um but yeah so that's my little mini mother's day haul you guys um what am i about to get into and it's gonna be really nice today so i'm probably gonna take journey to the park literally gonna be like i want to say 70s high 80s all week i think wednesday is gonna be like almost 90 degrees um so yeah it's gonna be a good week to do things um but yeah so i'm gonna sit and do my little Monday routine that I usually do where I kind of just map out my week and I will see you guys in a few. Hey y'all so it's a little later in the day we're about to go to the park. 
I put on this cute little dress on her that she got for her birthday. How cute is it? I'm about to just prepare her like some snacks and her little <laughs> and her little um snack um bowl to take with us. And yeah, we'll see you guys when we get to the park. Can you say hi. <laughs> That's not a cute face. I feel like every time I say I'm gonna take Journey to the park, I get humbled by the walk. Like literally it's so far from my house. But all the other parks aren't as nice as this one to me. Y'all know I'm a aesthetic type of person. So but yeah. Hi guys, say what's up. That was a walk. Oh my goodness. We just made it and the park is so empty and nice. Just how I love it, y'all. And I'm actually surprised because it's 224 and kids should be getting out of school. But yeah. We about to get the playtime in before that happens. She is ready to go. She just handed me her snack. You ready for some fun? Huh? You ready? You ready? Anytime she hears like little kids, she literally gets so excited. But yeah, let's get her out. like my morning started off so long already like i've been up literally since 5 a.m and it's because of allergies i never knew you could have an allergy attack in the middle of the night but when i tell you guys i was up at like five o'clock sneezing hawking like my throat was itching so bad and i don't have any allergy medicine the only allergy medicine i have is benadryl and y'all know last time i took that i was out like i literally knocked out um so yeah i don't want to do that again but yeah, you guys, I've been struggling all morning. I got up, I jumped straight in the shower, I did skincare, I put these on because y'all, my eyes were so puffy and just like itchy. My nose is itchy, my eyes are still kind of itchy, but I put some eye drops in them, so they've been helping, but oh my god, like I hate allergies. I really am convinced that it kind of triggered when I went to the park yesterday, because I was good up until then. Like I, my allergies were not bothering me at all. So I need to get them under control. I just made me an iced coffee. I haven't even had breakfast yet because I was filming content for Instagram for majority of the morning. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much what happened so far for the morning. I'm going to be, yeah. yes, Journey. I feel like my energy is so low and I hate being on camera when my energy is low, but y'all, if you know, you know, when you have like these bad allergy, like, tax or whatever yeah. it really can take a toll on your day so i need to get some allergy medicine to face that but yeah so enough of that um today i have some work to do for a brand the brand the the work isn't really due until june but i don't want to get a head start on it because i'm a little miss procrastinator um i'm also waiting on approval from another brand I'm hoping they don't need any revisions because I'm really not trying to go back to the laundry mat for content. Uh, we'll see where the day takes us, you guys. Um, I do want to unbox. Oh my God, I keep itching my freaking nose. Hate allergies. I hate it. I keep itching my nose, you guys. I'm not picking my nose. It's like so itchy right here. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> you know what? Let me get myself together. And then when I'm like together, I'll get back on the camera. We're going to do that. I'm so the 
flying like a helicopter. Now by the grace of God and inshallah, we then move on. Hey you guys, so it's obviously another day. I was struggling yesterday. I could not do it. Like my allergies were just like so, so bad. I had to literally say, forget everything. I didn't do anything yesterday. I ended up just on the couch doing some stuff on my computer, but like anything content related, anything important, I just was not, I just was not trying to, um, indulge in that we're doing a lot better today as you guys saw in the little montage in the beginning my best friend anton he took me out for breakfast shout out to him um so for those who don't know i'm trini so the place that he took me anytime we go out for breakfast he literally takes me to like a trini spot because it's kind of like a home away from home for me because my husband he's american so i get a lot of like the american breakfast the americanized food i rarely get like you know the trendy side of things so anytime we go for breakfast or like he'd be like let me pick you up let's go get something to eat it'll be like a trendy spot so that's what you guys saw a lot of like doubles and i had an aloe pie the drinks all of that stuff is like originated and the culture is like trendy um so yeah so it was good i feel so stuffed i'm dying to just get back in the bed but i have like a lot of stuff to do today i have to do journeys here I also have to redo my hair um, because I have like a zoom that I have to get on and child under this hat it looks kind of crazy so I'm gonna do that later um, and then Jalen has a dance recital today which is at 7 so you guys will probably get me like getting ready for that I'll try to get some clips of that for you guys to incorporate in the vlog and that's pretty much the gist of what we got going on today it's not really too much um, I just got home so I literally am about to just unwind for a little bit it's so hot outside like so freaking hot today it's, it's gonna be almost 90 degrees yeah I'm not trying to go nowhere I don't like the heat Wanna say hi? Say hi. <laughs> say hi. I gotta do your hair. My gosh. Journey's hair is like it's growing, but then it looks like it's not. I don't know. I'm gonna oil it and do a nice little cute little style in it um, for later. Right, mama? If she lets me. <gasps> so pretty. You are. You are. <laughs> but yeah so that's just the gist of what we got going on for today like i said it's really hot outside i'm about to turn my ac on because i get irritated when it's hot super easily and i have to like tidy up and do some cleaning around the house um but yeah hey you guys what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up it's clearly later on in the day i don't know what all of that was just about but it's later on in the day let me get back to my regular self um and yeah i look like a person i literally just got out the shower did my hair did my makeup got dressed because like i told y'all today is Jalen's dance recital and it starts at seven so i wanted to kind of just get ready early um I'm trying to get there at least by like 6 30. I want to stop, get her some flowers. It's the last dance recital for the um, school year. So yeah, I want her to feel special. Um, but yeah, I put my hair in like a little side part. I like to wear my hair in a side part when I wear shades. I don't know what the reason behind the side part and shades is, but I like tucking my hair like this and bringing this little piece forward. And then I throw the shades on and just kind of like does something for me. Um, but yeah. Journey is asleep. She's been asleep this entire time, you guys. Like, I literally was able to go on two Zoom calls. I was able to take a shower, do my makeup, do my hair, and she's still asleep. But I'm about to wake her up because she has to take a shower, get dressed. I have to pack her bag and everything so we could head to Jalen's school. Um, I'm excited to see her perform. She's been literally dying to show me her performance at home. And I'm like, no, wait until the day of I want to see it at the school like I don't want you to kill anything for me she's supposed to be doing ballet she's doing um like a Caribbean dance and then there's one more dance she said she was doing I don't know it's some type of modern dancing but yeah so she's super excited I'm gonna try my best to put like a clip or two in here of her dancing but I don't really want to include like anybody other anyone else's kids on my YouTube videos because I just feel like I wouldn't want nobody putting my kids on the YouTube videos if I don't know about it. So if I could get, depending on the footage, if I could give a footage of her dancing, I'll throw a clip or two in. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on. Um, it's so hot outside. 
I hate it when it's like this. Like I do not like the heat. So that's pretty much the gist of this. Um, I don't think that I'm doing anything else today. Like I said, the dance recital starts at seven. So if y'all do the map, I'm probably gonna get back home a little late, um, depending on how long the show is. So I will see you guys tomorrow and you guys can enjoy these clips of Jalen's dance recital. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs> So I didn't pick up the camera at all yesterday. It is now Saturday. So happy Saturday, you guys. Um, I've been battling my allergies really bad and just like going through it. Yesterday, I had a migraine like all day. So I was not even about to do it to myself and try to vlog and do all of the other stuff. I spent a lot of the time yesterday just really kind of like editing. Um, I fell asleep while editing child. I was just like out of it. Um, so yeah, it's Saturday. It's Memorial Day weekend and the kids are home as y'all can see. I don't know what journey is on. She's just full of energy this morning. Say good morning. Come say good morning. <laughs> what is that about? Say good morning. Can mommy have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Oh, you're gonna give the vlog a kiss? Okay, she sends kisses for you guys. Can I have one now? Thank you. Um, but yeah, it's early in the morning. She's like full of energy. It's like 10 something. Um, I kind of woke up, not really in a funk, but just kind of like not really in the mood. So I decided like I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna go get coffee because I don't have any coffee here. And y'all know I need some type of energy boost if I'm going to Dunkin' because I don't even really like Dunkin' like that. So I'm gonna just walk to Dunkin' and probably get a latte, get some fresh air and see if that kind of like you know um so yeah y'all coming with me just that little bit of seconds y'all see how my allergies already got me but i wanted to show y'all what i got i got an iced latte with french vanilla swirl almond milk and some cold foam they made it really good and then i got the kids donuts so pray for me because they're about to draw me crazy journey this is for you mm. good good eat it so hot outside you guys i'm about to open my my eye mask on because my eyes are like puffy jules come on before i eat it what do you think it's on is white or pink pink white pink no do not do that journey can i get a bite for your donut Maybe I should take a piece of yours because you really don't need a whole donut. Yeah. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Take your donut. Take donut. Mm-hmm. Alright guys. I have to put my camera to charge. Because it's literally on 8%. I'm gonna go sit and edit a little bit of this vlog because it's gotta go up tomorrow. And I'll see y'all when I get my camera. So, Jalen has been asking for her own room, and I feel like the way that she keeps this room now is not deserving of her own room. Reason being is because Journey literally only sleeps in here, and it'd be looking like crazy for it to just be doing that. So let me just show y'all what I'm talking about. Let's do a walk through. Okay, this is this is what we got going on right now. A mess, 
a freaking mess okay she wants to go to cosmetology school look at her mannequin like own room wear it is no absolutely no way so what i'm about to do is spring clean i'm getting rid of toys i am getting rid of yes come Sorry. since you're I'm here like you explain to the vlog what's going on with your room because i showed them everything um, even shorty doo-wop in the corner over there oh so what's going on first of all that's not shorty doo-wop anyways um my room is uh, not clean because i have stuff to do <laughs> stuff to do like what come tell them what stuff you had to do my shows and then i had to get my bags out and stuff like that so yeah and then yeah but so i'm getting ready to throw a bunch of things out um i do this was kind of like when we first did the room for journey because as you guys know journey is a rainbow baby so everything was like rainbow themed so i do want to kind of switch these out because she's getting a little bigger and like i said this has to get turned into a toddler bed soon for her so yeah we're about to spring clean we're about to get rid of every bit of clothes that Jalen does not wear and i'm trying to decide what to do y'all this room is so messy don't judge me for her i'm trying to decide what to do she wants to keep her desk but she doesn't even use yes, it I for do. like she doesn't use it for anything but making a mess so we have a dresser here and then we have journey's dresser which used to don't ignore that we have journey's dresser there i'm trying to figure out if one of these dressers should be moved where her desk was and just get rid of the desk or put the desk somewhere else because you really don't use the desk. And hear me out, hear me there? out. No, because... Over there. Well, ideally... Ideally? Um, if I put the... Hmm, that sounds like a good idea. Because I could put Journey's dresser over here. All right. Bring me a garbage bag. What are you doing? <laughs> Bring me a garbage bag. Ugh, I gotta squat because of the ankle. But right now, what I'm about to do is pretty much go through her closet and get whatever it is that her and Journey do not wear, do not fit out of the closet so that we can make space in the closet because my goal is to ultimately get rid of one of these dressers. <laughs> officially finished i look crazy i look greasy i got a random bobby pin in my hair only because i found one and y'all know when y'all find bobby pins y'all have to like secure them because you're never gonna find one when you actually need it um but yeah i was able to put the dresser in the closet um they have like a lot more floor space i didn't make up Jalen's bed because it's like six o'clock now but let me just show you guys so they have like a lot so they have like a lot more space um journey's crib i moved it over this way so that when we get the thing her and Jalen, they're kind of like adjacent to each other but yeah that was pretty much it journey is so fussy i am tired i want to go in the shower i look very crazy right now yeah i'm gonna just wrap it up here thank you guys for thugging it out with me and yeah i hope you guys have a very safe and happy memorial day weekend um if you guys are doing anything make sure y'all be safe enjoy the barbecues for me because i don't have no plans but yes i will see you guys same time same place next sunday bye guys hey.